how truly difficult do you think road games are? I mean, do you think there's a major difference playing here? Uh, they're they're, they're uh, difficult in their own way. It's here in the stadium. I mean, sometimes we have to quiet down the crowd, but for the most part, you can hear the snap count. Um, you can make uh, an echo calls a lot easier. Um, it's easier to hear personnel's on the road. You really got to stress um, communication, um, and you know you got to be sound in substitutions. And on top of all that, um, because you know you incorporate the crowd, it's a little bit harder to hear different things. But at the same time, you can. You can get a, you get up for road games. You know certain guys do. I think our team will. Um, you kind of get excited to go on the road and walk into somebody else's stadium and you know try to beat them. Was the preparation for road games last year different under Harbaugh than it was prior to that under Hulk? Um, uh, I don't. I they're they're pretty much similar for the most part. Um, they're different from home games to away games. Uh, and they were for Hogan and Coach Harbaugh, where we're, we're going to be piping in music in practice to, you know, simulate crowd noise and make things harder on us. So when we go on the road, you know, we'll be a little bit used to that. Speaking of the differences between the two, what is it about Jim? It's I mean, you've been, you've been on the road about a year and a third now, I guess. What, what does he do? How has he done to put you guys where you are? Um, he's just a great leader. He's he's had success as a coach and as a player. And uh, one thing he really has done well too is surround himself with other successful people. Everyone on his staff um, is, I, I was just thinking the other day, this past sideline, um, we didn't know, or this past game, we didn't know if they were gonna be a 3-4 or 5-3 goal line front. And uh, we went down after Khalid scored, we ran on the sideline. We told the coaches what we saw and immediately we went through all of our goal line plays right away, making sure we were gonna be prepared if we got down that situation. And I think the level, of um, or how well we prepare, it's 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 unbelievable how prepared we are going into every single game. I mean, this coaching staff um, is not going to let us go into a game, you know, not prepared. Were you ever skeptical of it in the beginning? Like this is a lot to process, or no, absolutely not. No, I we we've all trusted the coaching staff and we've trusted one another since you know since they've got here, and um, we've always believed in them and whatever they've. You know, whatever the plan they've laid out for us to do, we followed it. Uh, there's some stuff in the summer kind of specifically related to the satellite camps where you know, caught any of this with Rutgers in Michigan. you follow any of this? Oh, uh, no, I didn't. Well, it became like a deal. And, uh, you know, not to say it's a rivalry because you guys have only played them twice, but their coach actually addressed it during media days and said there's not a rivalry yet. I mean, is there anything different about Rutgers stand out? I mean, I know they're new to the Big Ten, but... Um, uh, I don't know. I, I, again, I didn't really follow it. Um, and again, we're just going to look at this. It's the next game on our schedule. This is this is our national championship this week. We're going we're to prepare like that, and we're going to play like it on Saturday. Um, you know, no matter who we're playing, we're, we're going to go out there with that mindset.